Hello, good evening. How are you today? Hi, hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Voy en camino, así que voy a estar de bien. Okay. okay. Igual yo, yo voy de camino, teacher. Te aviso cuando ya esté en casa. Okay, perfect. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Teacher, yo también voy a manejando para los urtes. Puede estar de oyente ahora. Okay. Be careful. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Vamos a ver. I'm going to call you and tell me present, right? Hmm. Twenty ninth today. Twenty ninth. <clears throat> Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Analicia. Carolina Vigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Diego Batres. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elmer Alexis. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Jonathan David. Se puso la cámara. Jonathan David, Karen Janet, Karen Karen, Karen Stephanie, Carla Lorena, present teacher, Kevin René, Luis Ricardo, Luis Edgardo. Teacher, eh, yo, yo no escuché, eh, soy Jonathan, present. Ah, sí, le dije Jonathan como tres veces. Eh, lo siento, lo siento, gracias. Okay. Vamos a ver, Luis Edgardo. Luis Mauricio. Present, teacher. Ok, Noé Ortiz. Presente, teacher. Rosaida. Presente, teacher. Eh, Ma Ma Mario Ángel. Presente, teacher. Ok, Luz Angélica. Presente, teacher. Joana. Presente, teacher. José Alfredo. Present, present teacher. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. David Alexander. Peter. Present teacher. Present, present. Ok. Vamos a ver los que no estaban. Luis Edgardo. Karen Stephanie. Karen Janet. Claudia Carolina. Ana. Ok. Bueno. Uh, ok. Ah. Yo voy para mi casa por el momento, así que no voy a poder participar. Uy, Dios guarde. ¿Y por, bueno, qué, me los, ¿por qué me los dejan trabajando tanto? No sé. Qué barbaridad. <ríe> Deme unos 20 minutos. Va, ok. Qué barbaridad, qué barbaridad. Uy, ¿cuánta gente tengo trabajando todavía? Quiero ver. Mm, como siete. 
¿verdad? Como siete hay hoy trabajando. Va. Well, let's begin. Let's begin with the with the review. Vamos a ver. Ay, qué barbaridad. Vamos a ver. Ajá, eso. Se siente un martes como si fuera lunes, pero por ratito como que fuera viernes, pero algo así bien raro. Bye. <ríe> Quizá porque la vacación está cerca. Uh, plans for next week? No plans? Sleep all day. ¿Mm? Sleep, yes. Sleep, sleep. Vamos a ver, when, when are the vacations? Next week, no, ¿verdad? No. No. Ay, qué triste. Yo no sé por qué yo me había hecho la idea de que las vacaciones eran la otra semana. No. Son las siguientes semanas. Uh -huh. Sí. Pues no, tan lejos. Están muy lejos, dos semanas todavía. Ok. Vaya, check. Yesterday we were talking about. Vamos a ver. Eh, yesterday we were reporting problems. Remember reporting and describing problems. And we were talking about uh, some phrases or expressions that we use when we want to describe issues or problems that we have. Okay, issues or problems. So you say, I'll have a look at it. I'll have a look at it. It doesn't work properly. It doesn't work properly. It makes a strange noise. It makes a strange noise. I need to, I need to, I need to speed things up. I need to speed things up. That means to make things faster, right? Check the brushes once a fortnight. What is fortnight? Do you remember? What does it mean? Quincena. Every two weeks. Mm -hmm. Every two weeks. Two weeks. Exactly. Every two weeks. I have to extend the shot. I have to extend the shot. And the last one is a minor fault. What does it mean, a minor fault? What is it? Uh, like a little problem. Mm -hmm. A fault that it's not a big thing, right? But Mm, it's not a big thing when you're talking about like for repairing it that if the machine has that problem it can cause that the machine stops stops working and have a shot right a shot down but if the problem or the fault is no minor but it's the big the problem will be that you can extend the chart, okay? So here we were describing issues and we were talking also about this structure that we use when we describe a problem and it's there is. You know, there is a problem with my laptop. What is it exactly? Hmm, I don't know. So I'll have to look at it. Right. If I tell a technician, you know, there is a problem with my laptop, they could ask, what's the problem? I don't know exactly. It doesn't connect to the printer, for example. Or it doesn't start. Then the technician will say, I'll 
have to look at it. I hope it is a minor fault, right? Okay. Also, uh, when you don't have what you need, you can sell. There isn't. Imagine uh, you have to print something, but there is an ink. You say, oh, oh, there isn't any ink or there isn't any paper, right? So you are expressing a problem, nothing to repair. Something easy, something minor. It's easy to get the paper, right? So it won't make a big problem, but it has to be solved. Another way of describing problems would be, I've got a problem. And you know what? I've got a problem. I've got much luggage. Or I've got um, a broken machine. Yes. I've got too many copies to make. Or if you don't have what you need, you can say, I haven't got my phone number. I haven't got any toner for the pre for the photocopier. Why well, haven't got any ink for my printer, right? Okay, this will be a way of describing problems. I don't know if you have any questions about it. Questions. No questions? No. Nice. Well, today we have a new, a new topic to do. And we are going to be using the present perfect. As you can see in the conversation. Unfortunately, um, unfortunately that you are working today because this is like one of the most uh, complicated topics I can say of this unit, right? That's the present perfect. And why I say it's one of the most complicated ones, because there are a couple of things to take into consideration. One of them is the structure, right? The structure of the sentence. And the other one is that you have to think about the verbs in the past participle. So you have to study the verbs and get ready to identify them, okay? So that's something very important. Okay. Now, let's go to the conversation. Let's read it. What's wrong with the computer? What's wrong with the computer? Hmm? Can you repeat after me? What's, what's wrong with what's the computer? Wrong with the computer? What's wrong with the computer? What's, what's wrong, wrong with the what's computer? What's wrong with the computer? Hey, look. Well, I don't know. Hello. Hello. Hey, look. Well, well, I don't, I don't, know. I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and I want and it won't turn on. I, I have, have checked, checked it, it everywhere. everywhere. It won't turn on. And, and it, it won't, turn, won't on. turn on. That's too bad. That's, That's too, too bad. bad. How about the connection? How about, How the, about connection? the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Have, have you, you checked, checked all, all the, the cables, cables are plugged? Are plugged. Plugged. Have you, have you checked all the cables are plugged? Have you checked all the cables, all the are, plugged? cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. Yes, I, yes, have. I have. And Mario, Mario the, technician, the technician, has checked it, has checked it too. We have, we have not verified the rest of the computers. We have, we have not verified, not verified the, rest of the, the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Anna, Anna has, has had the same problem, the same with, problem his with, her with her computer. 
Equipment. 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 Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, yeah. I, heard I heard that. that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? Has the maintenance team replaces the batteries? batteries? Maintenance. 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 That is a maintenance. Mm -hmm. Like if this is mute, right? And you say maintenance. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? Maintenance. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. No, they, no, haven't. they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. My, my boss, boss sends them, them a memo, a memo every, every week. week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. I see. By, by the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, now let's repeat one more time. What's wrong with the computer, George? What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. I have checked it everywhere and I, I won't turn on. It won't turn on. I, it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? That's, That's too, bad. too bad. How about, How about the, the connection? connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Have you checked, Have you checked all the all cables, the are, cables plugged? are plugged? Plugged. Plugged are plugged. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. Yes, yes I, I have. have. And Mario, and the, Mario the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. We have we not have verified, not the, rest verified the, computers. the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Anna, Anna has, has had, had the same problem, the same with, problem her with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? Yeah, I yeah, heard that. I heard has that. The maintenance has the team maintenance team replaced the batteries? <coughs> no, they haven't. <coughs> no, they haven't. No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. My, my boss, boss sends, sends them, them a memo, every, memo every, week. every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. I see. I see. By, by the way, the technician, by is the way coming. the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Great. Great. I hope, I hope he, he can, can fix, fix this problem. problem. Okay. Nice. Now, I'm going to be Luke and you're going to be George, okay? What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Hello Luke. Well, well, I don't know. I don't know. I, I have, have checked it everywhere. In everywhere every and turn, turn, on. On, turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Mario, the technician, has checked it too. Has checked it too. We, we have too. not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the Anna same problem with her equipment. With her equipment. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, yeah. they haven't. No, they and haven't. My boss my sends boss them a memo, a, memo a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. Great. I hope, I hope he can, can fix, fix this problem. problem. Okay. Now you are Luke. I'm George. One, two, three, go. What's wrong, What's with, the wrong with the computer, George? George. 
Hello, look. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and I, it won't turn on. That's, That's too bad. Too bad. That's too How about bad. the connection? How about the connection? Have you checked all have the, you cables? Checked all all the cables? Are plugged? plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, yeah, I heard yeah, that. I heard has that. The main has the main replaced main the batteries? The batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By, By the, the way, the technician is coming. coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, nice. Well, I'm going to send you in purse for you to go practice the conversation. Check, do you have the conversation on page 31? After you finish the conversation, you're going to answer a couple of questions in activity three, okay? Ready for that? Ready, ready for that? Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Basha, I'm going to send you then. Let me make groups. You are 20, well, 19. 20 with me. Mario, are you still driving? Yes, teacher. Kevin is still working, right? Los Angelica, no, that's okay. Ana, David, and Jose Alfredo, Carolina, Diego, Joanna. Joanna is working. Yeah, Claudia, Carolina. Claudia, Carolina, Edwin, Grace. Okay, Grace, are you here today? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Edwin, you're not working. Ah, Edwin is working. Espérame, porque entonces, Claudia, Carolina, too. Oh. David... You're here, right? Yes. Okay, nice. I'm trying to, to join two people that are in class with two people that are working. So the ones who are not here, they can listen. Jonathan, Luis Mauricio. Mario, you're still driving? Luis Mauricio, did you get home? No, teacher. I know you're not going home, right? Let's see. Right. Uy, sorry, Marina. Le he puesto con tres hombres que no están. Vamos a ver. Luz Angélica. Yeah, okay, perfect. I'm going to make the change here. That's sure. But I hope... I hope to have two people that are working, well, no, that are working, no, that are in, that are 100% here today for the others to listen. There you go. If no, I will be watching you. If you feel alone, tell me, right? Call me, call me and I will change you. Luz Angelica, try to join. Okay, great. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Hola. Hola. Trate de conectarse. Ay. Hola, Tinche. Ay, qué tristeza, Dios santo. Si es que hoy tengo más de media clase de oyente y así no me funciona nada. Vamos a ver. Quiero ver, Joana. 
Joana, Diego, Carolina, había ahí. Vamos a ver, Diego. Okay. I hope to have two people in each room. Teacher. Este. Oh, sharing. Sorry. Por estar viendo ahí. Yes. Ah, oh, is por estar viendo ahí que media clase no está, me había olvidado darles el permiso. Vaya, a ver si ya está listo. You can eh, lo vamos a leer y vamos a contestar las preguntas, ¿verdad, Ticha? Yes. Vaya, Luz Angélica. Teacher, es que yo creo que están ocupaditos, fíjese. No, pero Luz Angélica no me ha dicho. Pero tiene aquí oyente. No, pero oyente porque ella es oyente. Ah. Pero no, no me ha dicho ella. Yo creo que sí, teacher. Porque Carla, Edwin, Kevin, Jonathan, Mario, Claudia, Carolina, Luis Mauricio, no están... Luz Angélica, hello. Hello, teacher. I'm, just, I'm, I'm busy right now. Pero no me dijo. No me dijo. Yes, teacher, I told you. Mm -hmm. Yes, I told you. It's the first. I'm the first tell you. Porque estoy metiendo gente que está, que está trabajando para que me queden de oyente. Sí, teacher, yo fui la primera que le dije. Ouch. Vamos a ver. Con usted, teacher, me toca. Y la voy a... Me va a mandar para otro lado. Me la voy a llevar. Sí, me la voy a llevar porque yo tengo que andar viendo los demás grupos. Está bien. Me lo voy a llevar a todos a otro grupo donde puedan oír. Ah, cheque si se puede mover porque ya no me deja mover. Ahí está. Yo no tengo... Uy, no me da la opción de moverlo. No me deja moverlo, Jonathan. No sé por qué. Sí. Hoy se comienza. Bye. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checking it everywhere, everywhere, and I won't turn on. That's the bad. How about the connection? Have you checked it? All the cab cables are plugged. Yes, I have, and Maria, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sent them a memory, a memo <laughs> every week. No sé por qué memory o memory. <laughs> memory. <laughs> Siempre le pongo más palabras. Memo. Uh, no, memo, every... no. I... <laughs> <laughs> I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay. <coughs> Teacher, I have a question. Uh, you, you said present what? Perfect. Present perfect. perfect. Sí. 
Present perfect. And that's the structure okay. we are going to work okay. together. The structure. The present perfect. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Una vez más. Mm, now. <coughs> okay. Hi, hi. Come hi. On, Hello. Hello. Hi, hi. Did you finish practicing yes. the conversation? We finish and yes. uh, part number three, it's okay. You're answering I, the questions, you're finished. I have a question with Tell me. part Here. three. Number three, our boss has sent. Yes, mm -hmm. because has is in past. Mm -mm. That's present. 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 Okay. Sí. Eh, past is had con de. Had. Okay. Had. okay. That is yes. present. Okay. The currently, currently is sent with D. No, with T. With T. With T. Ah, okay. Send. See the tomato. Mm -hmm. Because that's okay. the past participle. Okay. Only. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Vamos a ver. You almost finished, right? Hi, hi. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that has the minus team replaced the batteries. No, they haven't. My boss sent them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay. Nice. ¿Qué tal, teacher? Pues bien, finish. Finish. Pasamos un par de veces. Okay, perfect. Did you answer the questions? Yes. The... Okay. I'm ready to in. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah, the pronunciation. De, de regreso. Ya me lo voy a llevar entonces. Pronunciation de qué, David? Um, the... Check it. 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 Check ¿Cuál? Vamos a ver. La que dice cables. O sea, pero se pronuncia ah, cable. Ah, cable. 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 Cable, sí. Y esa flow. The cable. Y la que sigue después es plug, nada más. Plugged. D. Plugged. Yes, like plugged. Plugged. Ajá, uh -huh. are plugged. Que están conectados, right? Plugged. Okay. Are plugged. And you have, um, let's see, verified, verified, verified. Verified. Ay, me están comiendo los zancudos. Replace. Verified. Mm -hmm. Any other question about pronunciation? La otra que, que es como reemplazar es replace. Replaced. Mm -hmm. Replaced. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yo digo que esas eran las que más nos han costado okay. pronunciar por el término ed. Sí, por el te, te, la terminación t o d. Ajá. Pues tampoco se hacerla. Checked, verified, plugged, and replaced. Bueno, me los llevo ya entonces. Okay. Okay, teacher. Vemos, Grace. Okay, nos vemos.
Vamos ver. Baixar. Nice, nice. Any questions here? Questions? Questions, questions. Say no. Vamos ver. We're still missing a couple of people. Me están picando los zancudos. Qué barbaridad. Imagine this winter. Bye. Let's see, we have the pronunciation. Let's use the pen here. Okay, we have checked. Checked. Plugged. Right? Plugged. Verified. Verified. Replaced. Replaced. If you notice, these are verbs in the past participle that these are regular verbs. See? Regular. What happened to regular verbs? Uh, the present and the past change, but the past and the past participle are exactly the same. So we are going to do something here before we see, uh, well, let's check the answers and then we will, we will be checking the, the, the verbs that you're going to use, right? Circle the words to complete the statements. Compare with a partner. Have or has they checked the system? Have. Have. Mm -hmm. Have they checked the system? Mary? Has. Has. Has had. Yes. Mary has had the same problem with the computer. Our boss? Has sent. Okay, our boss has sent. Okay. Now I want to listen a couple of volunteers to read the conversation. Volunteers. Volunteers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anna <laughs> and who sent me, teacher? Me. Anna and me. Okay, go ahead then. I will be um, George and you will be Luke. Okay. Uh, what's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mary, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. <coughs> yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, very good. Two more volunteers. I heard a boy saying, me teacher. Me teacher with Adriana. Okay, perfect, Diego. With Adriana. Adriana. Okay, I'm gonna start. Yes. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it. I have checked it everywhere and it is one turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked it? All the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. 
we have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, very good. One more volunteer. Who will be my volunteer? Aha, uh -huh. Claudia Abigail, maybe. Claudia, Claudia. Me, teacher, with David. Okay, good. David? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, okay. Who begins? <laughs> I'm, what's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How, how about the connection? Have you checked all the cables or plugs? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, very good. Imagine if to the maintenance no hacen caso. ¿Verdad? How many memos do you think they have received? If they receive one every week, they have a lot of memos, right? Well, today, as I told you before, we are using the present perfect. When do we use the present perfect? What do you think? When do we use the present perfect? Hmm? Any idea? You, you do the thing or you have to do? <laughs> ah, but that's obligation, right? Have to. But in this case, we're talking about has. Think that we have to do in a, in a short time. Mm, that would be present continuous. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Let me think. Could you repeat the question, please? When do we use the present perfect? When you do something and you are. When you? When, when you did something and you are saying that I did it. Okay, vaya, vamos a ver. First thing I want you to see is the verbs that you're going to be using, right? Check. When we use uh, the present perfect, as you notice there in the conversation, we are using had, and we are also using has, right? So you have to use have or has, depending on the subject, yes? So if my subject is, for example, I, you say, I, you, we, and they have. With these ones, we are going to use have. Yeah, so you say I have, and then the verb in the past participle. This is the third form. For example, if you see a list of verbs, you have the present simple, the 
simple past and the past participle, que es la tercera línea, right? So we use have and the verb in the past participle. This has to be in past participle. No past simple. ¿Por qué no past simple? Because past participle is the ending ido, ado. So you say comido, ido, yo he ido. ¿Sí? Yo he ido, yo he comido, yo he luchado, yo he buscado. Right? So I say ido, ado. And when we use, for example, he and she, he, she, it, we are going to use has. Yeah? So with this ones, we use has. Vamos a duplicarla. Okay. Any questions so far? No question. Hmm? No? So, ¿cuándo usamos have? ¿Cuándo usamos has? I, you, we, they, I use have. He, she, it, I use has. ¿Cuál es la forma del verbo que va a acompañar acá? ¿Mm? ¿Se acuerdan? Is the past, past participle. Past participle. Mm -hmm. So you see, 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 so, sing, right? Be, was, where, been. Eat, ate, eaten. Take, took, taken. Have, has, right? Have, had, y had. Aquí, eh, fíjense que se da una situación. Algunas veces, el pasado es el mismo pasado participio. En, alguno, en algunos casos de los verbos regulares. En el caso de los verbos irregulares, el past simple y el past participle is always the same. Pero eso es en el caso de los verbos irregulares. ¿Qué verbo tenemos acá? ¿Son regulares o son irregulares? ¿Mm? ¿Qué creen? Irregulares. They are irregular. Uh, most of them are irregular, right? But this one is regular. Tenemos un regular allí. El watch. Watch. Right? Watch. So, first thing to keep in mind is you use have or has in this structure. Have or has and the verb in the past participle. ¿Ya? ¿Estamos bien hasta allí? ¿Cuál es la forma del verbo? ¿Cuál es la forma del verbo que necesitamos usar? Past participle. El past, past participle. participle. Perfect. That's the past participle. Ahora, check the examples. We have taken a boat tour along the river. We have taken. No digo we have take o we have took. Porque eso sería yo he tomé y eso no es posible. Usted dice yo he tomado. ¿Qué he tomado? ¿Mm? ¿Qué he tomado yo? A boat. A boat, exactly. I have taken a boat. Uh, we have been on top of the London Eye. We have been. No puedo decir we have was. Never. Never, never. We have was. Impossible, right? We have been. 
What have we done? Well, we have been to the top of the London Eye. We had had dinner in Chinatown. Have you had dinner in Chinatown? Yes or no? I haven't had. No, we haven't. Okay, we haven't. We have been to Madame Tussauds. Have you been to Madame Tussauds? Yes. No, I haven't been. No, we haven't, right? We haven't been there. Okay. Now, check the structure. Remember, you have the subject, auxiliary have or has, and the verb always, whenever we are using the past part, uh, the present perfect, the verb is always in the past participle. See? Always. And then you can have any complement. Look at the sentences. We have had, este es mi complement. ¿eh? ¿Sí? Subject, auxiliary, verb y complement. Miren, subject, auxiliary, verb y complement. ¿Sí? Eso nos completa todo, toda oración, right? Subject, auxiliary, verb in the past participle and complement. Got it? Any question? No? Está fácil, ¿verdad? Vaya. Solo recuerden una cosa. Vamos a ver. Si yo tengo, por ejemplo, mi verbo. Ah, vamos a escribir como se debe acá. A ver. Erase. Erase. Where are you? <risa> Esperen. Aquí está, aquí está, aquí está. When we're talking, vamos a mover esto. When we're talking about auxiliar, eh, we're talking about verbs. Remember we said, most of the verbs you have there are regular, right? Eh, cuando tenemos un ver, eh, los verbos regulares, el pasado y el pasado participio, algunas veces es igual. La mayoría de veces no. Y generalmente el present simple, el past eh, simple and the past perfect are totally different. But what happens when I have a regular verb? So I have like, like. Vamos a hacer las más grandes. Mm -hmm. Cook. Cooked. And. Cook. Si se fijan, el pasado y el pasado participio exactamente the same. En. And then, and then, travel, traveled, in traveled. Uh -huh. One more, díganme uno. Regular. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you another one. Moved and moved. Va check. Nos vamos a poner en filita acá. Dress teacher. Sí. Dress is regular. Bah. 
check. So, what do you have to keep in mind? That these verbs, these verbs have a past and a past participle are exactly the same, but that happens with regular verbs. With irregular verbs, no, right? With irregular verbs, the past simple and the past participle changes most of the time. Digo most of the time porque hay algunos casos en los cuales es el mismo, pero generalmente cambia. Any question about the structure? Have taken, have been, have had, have been. Ahora check. ¿Cuándo lo usamos? We use the present perfect to talk about unfinished actions. ¿Qué horas son? Va. Nos vamos a ir a la tenda ahorita antes de que se me olvide y luego venimos a retomar eso. Adriana Marcela. Present. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elmer Alexis. Grace Michelle. Present, Present teacher. teacher. Jonathan David. Jonathan David. Present teacher. Aquí uh, alguien tiene eco. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, voy a ver quién tiene eco, 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 eco. Eh, Karen Janet. Eh, Karen Janet. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present. Kevin René. Present. Luis Edgardo. Bueno, está Luis Edgardo. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Noé Ortiz. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joana. Ay, sorry, present teacher. José Alfredo. Present. Marina. Presente. David Alexander. Present teacher. Ok, nice, nice, nice. Pasha, volvemos, volvemos donde estábamos. Sí. But I was telling you that we use a present, you know, the present uh, simple is to talk about the present, right? The present continuous we said is for talking about something we are doing or for the future. Pero el present perfect, we use it for unfinished actions, states or habits that started in the past and continue up to the present. So imagine we have an action. Uy, que recto se me fue. We have an action. Acá, that started last year, but it continues. For example, you started classes last year, right? Do you remember the month? ¿En qué me empezaron? We have, this is module number five. Ajá. So uh -huh. Como en August. August. Like August. ¿Verdad? 
Vaya. No, September. September. Va. Okay. Then we say, you started studying English. You started studying last year in September. Right? And then you continue, 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 continue. We are here. No, we are here right now. So this is something, or this is an action that is started here, that September. We started in September, but we continue. That's why we say unfinished, because we haven't finished, right? So level one, then level two, three, four, five, y no terminamos. So we continue with level number six, right? Then that's why we are talking about an unfinished action or an unfinished habit that started in the past but continues, right? Continues, continues. And right now, you can say, well, we have studied, we have studied English for five months. No cuentan la dos semanas de de intermedio entre curso y curso, no cuenta. Porque si no diríamos de septiembre a la fecha, ¿cuántos meses son? Pero no, eso no cuenta. So, cuentan los meses que han estudiado. So, we have studied, we have studied English for five months. Okay? We have studied for five months. Remember the structure? El subject, we, auxiliary have, the verb in the past participle and then the complement. We have studied English for five months. Now, remember, we use the verb in the past participle form and the auxiliary. Well, have or has for the third person. Para has, she, she have, has. has. Okay. Has for third person. And we use? He, she, uh, or it. Aha, uh -huh, esa aquí está. And we use? Have. Have. Um, have. Aha, uh -huh, we use have for the rest of the pronouns. So for I, you, we, they, vamos a usar have. Para he, she, it, has. Okay? So you say, Anna has studied English for five months. Yes. I have been your teacher for five months. Yes. Okay. So we're talking about things that we have done. And that's why we, we also mention that when we are talking about the present perfect, we are describing experience. Experience. ¿Qué hemos hecho? What have you done? Well, I have eaten sushi. I have ridden a horse. Una vez, but I have done it. Right? So, I have ridden a horse. Usted ha hecho algo. ¿Cuántas veces no importa? ¿Cuándo no importa? Lo importante es que lo ha hecho. ¿Sí? So we are also talking here about experience. But we are also, in this case, in this context, we are talking about something that you began, but you haven't finished. Okay? Then you say, I have checked the reports. They have not replaced the battery. Have they replaced the battery yet? No, they haven't replaced the battery yet. Um, she has explained her situation. The team has not had that kind of problems. Recuerden in negatives, we use have, we use not. But here you can perfectly say haven't. En vez de llevarlo así completo, Es más común usarlo con contraction, right? They haven't. The o sea, eso es como, perdón, teacher, o sea, eso es como, sé que no tengo tra que traducirlo, pero es como que 
ya que tomaste la leche, had you, porque no es algo terminado, ¿verdad? No, no, you haven't, you haven't finished. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, if I say, I, I haven't finished my dinner. I haven't finished my dinner. It is here. Right? I haven't finished my dinner. I haven't finished my coffee. I still have some. I haven't drunk any water during this class. I haven't washes the dishes. I have washes. I have washed the dishes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Because I I did that. I did that before, right? I have washed the dishes. In that case, you can you can take it like something that I did as an experience. I have washed the dishes. Que he hecho, que no he hecho, right? That's what you're telling here. What have you done today? What have you done? ¿Qué es lo que ha hecho? ¿Qué es lo que aún no? Have you eaten dinner? Have you eaten dinner? Yes, I have had my dinner. Okay, I have had dinner. Very good. Have you drunk coffee? Yes, I have drink coffee. You have drunk. Con I un. have drunk. You okay. have drunk coffee. Have you taken a nap? No, I haven't. You haven't taken a nap. Mm -hmm. Have you done the homework? The, the yesterday homework? Yes, I have had. <laughs> yes, you have done the homework. Okay, nice. Any question here? No, yes. I think I understood. Okay, perfect. Now check. We, as I said, we use it also to talk about experiences, right? I have seen it. I have been there. Ah, now I remember. I have been, I have been there. I have taken it. I have had it. I have been to Istanbul three times. ¿Y por qué lo dejo abierto con el present perfect? Porque tengo three times. Si yo cambio three times y le pongo last year, ya no puedo usar el present perfect. Porque esa sería ya una finished action. ¿Sí? Pero si yo digo, I have been to Istanbul three times, Puedo usar present perfect porque quién sabe, en el futuro yo podría ir a Estambul otra vez. Right? She has read the prince, the little prince, a few times. He has read, she has read, le gusta el principito. She has read the little prince a few times. Probably. She will read it again. Okay. He has watched Trek twice. Will he watch Trek's, Trek again? Probably yes. See? But he watched Trek twice yesterday. Ya, ahí sí, ya no. ¿Verdad? Si yo ocupo una expresión de tiempo que define pasado, no puedo ocupar present perfect con esa expresión, porque eso significa terminado. Y el present perfect es algo que aún no ha terminado. Empezó al pasado, es cierto hasta ahorita en el presente, pero es posible que en algún momento de mi vida se repita. Porque sigo vivo. Right? Any other, any question here? No? No, no. Okay, Thank check you. this. I have sprained my ankle. ¿Se acuerdan que le dije me doble pie? Uh -huh. I, have 
I have sprained my ankle. Ush, I have sprained my ankle many times. See, I have sprained my ankle many times. Playing, walking, running. Hmm? What is a sprain? Sprain is cuando se hace un esguince. Y ankle es, le voy a dibujar un pie vaya. Como el de Trucutú. Este es el pie. Solo tiene no sé cuánto. De... Bueno, that, that's the idea, right? El ankle, se han fijado que por aquí uno tiene una chibolita que le decimos el ojo del pie. Esto, este es el heel, ¿verdad? Que es el talón. Pero esta parte de acá se llama ankle. Es este ankle. Right? Entonces, you say, me doblé el pie. So I have sprained my ankle twice. Oh, no, I have sprained my ankle many times. I have no idea how many times I have sprained my ankle. Los dos. Right? Have you sprained your ankle? Hmm? Yes, no. Never. Qué dichoso, no, te, no camina. <laughs> okay. Have you broken? Have you broken anything? <coughs> hmm? Oh, thank God. No, no never. Have you broken a bone? No. No. <gasps> No le digo porque Yes, no. I have. What did you break? Uh, my feet when I was 11 years old. Oh, my goodness. Really? Okay. Yes, it hurt. It, it hurts a it, lot. That hurt a lot, I imagine. I, I broke my little toe in 2013. I remember it was very funny because I was I was moving from one sofa to the other sofa. And then I hit one caminadora that was a machine for exercising. And Did I sir, hit, hmm? sorry, I have a question. Tell me. In in any part of the body, I can say it's praying. Uh, for example, the, the hand. Por ejemplo, sprain your hand. Yes. No, fíjese que le voy a investigar, pero yo he escuchado la expresión solamente con ankle. Solo con el pie nada más. Pero le vamos a, le vamos a sacar de la duda hoy. Okay, vamos a investigar, you. a ver si se puede con... Porque si le duele la espalda, lo que dice es, I have a bad back. Pero ya vamos a investigar, dice que ya me dio curioso. Por ejemplo, si dice me doblé la mano. Me doblé la mano. Hmm. I spread my hand. Se me... puede esguinzar la mano. Sí. Ah, podría ser. Podría ser. O aquí, yo creo que por aquí también me he esguinzado. Porque de repente le hago así, ay. O ya la edad, vea, que ya alcanza. <laughs> And that hurts. By a check. Have you ever broken a bone? Hmm? Have you ever broken a bone? ¿Algún huesito? Teacher, I was no, reading. I haven't. Ajá, Ana, what did you find? Um, Dice, la ubicación más común de un esguince es el tobillo. Ajá. O sea, dice la más común, no dice... Okay, no dice que sea la única. Muy bien. Ajá. Ok. Entonces, pueda que sí. Vamos a esguinzar. No, no hay que esguinzarse la mano. Mucho duele. Vale, let's see. Have you ever sprained your ankle? Check the question. In affirmative, you say, I have sprained my ankle. 
Oh, I haven't expri sprained my ankle. La última. Want, hmm? Dice que puede ser tobillo, rodilla, muñeca y pulgar. Solo el pulgar. Así dice, tobillo, rodilla, muñeca y pulgar. Ok. Ahí está, Diego. ¿Por qué okay. solo el pulgar? Dice que cuando usted eh, hace prácticas de deporte, en donde usa raquetas, como el tenis. Ajá. ¿Cuál es el pulgar este, verdad? Yo el índice le estoy enseñando. <laughs> sí, es este. Yes, that's true. When you play volleyball, you can sprain your, your thumb. This is thumb. Aquí le pongo thumb. Your thumb. This one. This is the index finger. The ring finger, no, the ring finger is this one, the middle finger and the pinky finger. Al pinky, the little one. Vaya, have you ever sprained check it? In the question, we put the auxiliary at the beginning, right? And then we use ever, porque está preguntando alguna vez, alguna vez, have you ever sprained your ankle? Yes, many times. Or you say, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. Have you ever eaten sushi? No? Yes. Adriana doesn't like it's sushi. It's delicious. <laughs> okay, so you say, have you ever eaten sushi? Yes, I have. Or no, I haven't. A ver. I have met a famous person. I have met. Have you ever met? Have you ever met a famous person? Yes, no. When um, John Paul came to El Salvador, I, ah, well, but met is como like a. Conocer. I no, I just saw, saw him. Who? Who was John, the. Two or the second? Who was the famous person you met? The Pope John Paul II when he came in 1986 or I don't remember exactly the, the time, but when he came to El Salvador, uh -huh. I, I saw him. I tell you, espérame, ya le voy a decir cuándo fue. Fue in 1996. And I know why. I was pregnant and I didn't know. And I went to the beach that day and I rode a horse. That's why I remember. And later on, I noticed I was pregnant and my husband was my married. My God, you were so <laughs> yeah. Scared. Yeah, and my husband was, was worried because I had ridden a horse being pregnant. And that could be dangerous, but, um, but fortunately, no. And that's why I tell you, it was in 1996, about February, right? February 8, 1996. Uh, you see how memory, ahí está. <laughs> so you see how memory works. Okay, I check. Have you ever met a famous person? Then you can say, yes, I have. What about the others? Have you met a famous person? Yes. No, I haven't. You haven't. I remember once I met Tia Bubu. La Tia Bubu. We were uh, with my daughters, we were in 
eh, in the super selectos. And she entered, she was shopping. And my daughters used to watch eh, her program, right? And they were like, oh, I'm very happy. And, and she said, oh, yes, I am her sister. And we were like, no, no es ella, <laughs> no es la hermana. But she was not wearing makeup, right? That's why she didn't want to say that it was her, but we recognize her. Vaya, let's see. Have you ever seen a ghost? No, never. It doesn't exist. They don't exist. Ay, yo creo que sí. <laughs> Así I have no. No, you have never seen a ghost. And I don't want to. <laughs> no, that would be terrible, right? Imagine. What would you do? Run. Run, 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 and scream. Run, 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 no, 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 I have seen a snake a few times. Have you ever seen a snake? Yes. 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 At the zoo. Yes. At the zoo. Okay. Have you ever seen a snake outside in the street? No. No, maybe not in the street, but in a pool. In... I saw one in a pool. Oh. And you were inside the pool? Uh, unfortunately, no. I just uh, see other people screaming all over the place. Imagine, it was an anguila maybe, or no? No. A snake, normal snake. Yes, a snake. I know, they are horrible. I'm scared of snakes. I have had like a, a, two times, I have seen a snake twice but like very close. I remember once we, I was on a lemon tree. My mom said, go get some lemons. I was very happy, right? I went on the lemon tree and I was on, on the lemon tree, on one, on, standing in one, on one of the branches. And I went like this to get some lemons. And I saw the, the, the snake rolled. And I saw it was like brown with mustasa, right? So I was like this, I saw the snake and it like was kind of high. And I jumped and ran immediately to tell uh, the people that were, some men that were close. And I said, there is a snake, there's a snake. They ran and they cut the snake. Another day I was walking and a snake passed under my feet. I lived in the jungle. <laughs> I lived in the jungle. So a snake passed in the middle. When, when I heard a snake, I was like a snake. And I, I stood up and the snake passed right in the middle of my feet. And I was like, <laughs> but I didn't move because if I had moved, it would have bitten me. So no, no, no. That's right. Mm -mm. I don't like them, not even in pictures. Now, tell me this one. Have you ever met a superhero? Yes. Adriana says yes. <laughs> yes, but, but it was an answer like a little, little girl that, uh, yes, I, I have. And I was thinking in my dad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, of course. Of course, our dads are our superheroes. Okay. Has somebody here met a superhero? Spider-Man, Superman? No? ¿Quién, Diego? No. <laughs> no? Never? No, never. Never. Okay. 
Barney, no, verdad, Barney will not be a superhero. Okay, so any questions here about this structure? No question? No? Yep. Okay, now you're going to make sentences, uh, write affirmative or negative sentences, right? Using the prompts, Mario change the fuse. Has Mario changed? No, affirmative or negative, no these equations. Affirmative. Uh -huh. Mario has changed. Mario has changed the fuse. What's the mean fuse? Vamos a ver, what is fuse? Tell me. Vamos a preguntarle a Don Dictionary. The fuse is posible. Mm -hmm. Yo buscando la palabra en English. <laughs> okay. Bacha. Have you ever have you ever changed a fuse? Mario has changed the fuse. Okay. Hi, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to write the sentences and then we will check. Using the prompts, it means that I have to say, Mario have, have changed use, the field. Using the prompts means that you have to use those words given. If they are in affirmative, use them in affirmative. If they are negative, use them in negative. Si ahí dice not, you have to use it in negative. Afirmativo o negativo, depende. Si le da ahí un not, significa que su oración va a ser negativa, ¿verdad? Has Mario changed the fuse? Yes or no? Let me know when you finish. Yes. Ready, ready. Ready, 
Ready, ready. Finish, okay. teacher. Okay. Vamos a ver. Mario has... Okay, so you say Mario Vaya, you tell me the next one. Mm -hmm. Production. The production. The produ production hasn't no. stopped. Haven't or hasn't? Hasn't. Hasn't. Uh -huh. Porque production is like saying it. The production hasn't stopped. Uh -huh. Our team has fixed the equipment. Have. Our team has, has fixed. Porque has and no have. ¿Mm? ¿Por qué usamos our team has y no our team have? ¿Quién me dice? ¿Por qué our team has y no our team have? No hay día. ¿Por qué team es una palabra singular? El equipo. ¿Sí? Usted dice el equipo, ¿verdad? No dice eh, eh, las gentes del equipo. ¿Sí? Entonces, el equipo es considerado singular, aunque incluya o esté refiriéndose a un grupo de personas. Por eso es que ocupa el equipo o de team has y no de team have. Y el hour que no me los confunda. Ustedes ya saben que el possessive no tiene nada que ver con que su noun sea singular o plural. ¿Sí? So you can say my cars va a ser plural o our car va a ser singular. ¿Sí? Entonces, el possessive no tiene nada que ver con que su oración sea singular o plural. Porque ese es mi ca mis carros o nuestro carro. Right? No tiene nada que ver, que no me los confunda eso. Oye, vaya, vamos a ver the next one. Next. Jenny. Jenny has, Jenny has not. Ajá. Jenny hasn't. Plugged the cord. Jenny has unplugged the cords. Jenny has unplugged the cords. Okay. Nice. And the secretary has made has made enough, has made enough, made copies. enough copies. Enough copies. Uh huh. The secretary has made uy, de has made okay, enough copies the secretary has made enough copies The technician has has check it check the connector check it has checked the connector. Mm -hmm. The technician has checked the connector. Any question there? 
teacher, o sea que in, in the homework that, that we have to do today, when they say, when they, when they say from, it this, it means this exercise, exercise. Uh -huh. When they but say- I was confused because I, I thought we have to write have had, haven't had, haven't, haven't has. As we were talking in, in the last exercise. Mm. Questions, you thought? No, el ejercicio que usted nos acababa de explicar del have, had, ha, ese, el past participle, de lo que no se, de las acciones que no se habían terminado. Es lo mismo. Aquí estamos hablando de lo mismo. ¿Ve? Oh, me comí la S. Jenny has employed. The secretary has made. Has checked. Es lo mismo. ¿Qué es lo que ha hecho? ¿Qué es lo que ha hecho? Mario has changed the fuse. The production has hasn't stopped. Our team has fixed. Jenny has plugged the records. The secretary has made enough copies. And the technician has checked the connector. ¿Qué es lo que han hecho y qué es lo que no han hecho? Eso es lo que me está diciendo aquí. Sí, it's the same, Ana. Lo único que allá, aparte, yo le estaba haciendo preguntas. Have you? Ah, ya, ya. Hoy sí entendí, teacher. Thank you. Ok. Pero aquí no, no estamos haciendo preguntas, sino que solamente eh, dando la, la, ¿cómo se llama? The affirmative sentence. O negra. Ajá. That, affirmative. The other was interrogative. Ajá. Exactly. Thank you. I got making it. Questions. I got it. Okay. Any other question here, chicos, antes de que los mande a trabajar? Question. No questions. Okay. Vaya, vamos a ver. Eh, nos vamos a ir a trabajar in teams. There are issues with some equipment in your workplace. What you're going to do in pairs, create a conversation expressing what the problem is and what you have done about it. And remember to use the present perfect. Take as an example, the conversation that you were uh, reading at the beginning, right? You can use that conversation as a, as a help. The one that you were uh, reading at the beginning. Any question? No question. Question? Hola. No. No. Okay. Thank you. Vamos a ver. ¿Quiénes ya están? Acá. Me, teacher. Bye. Excelente, Luz Angélica. Ay, esperen, me voy a dejar de compartir. Que sin dejar de compartir no puedo hacer grupos. Vaya. Bueno, entonces yo creo que hoy sí puedo hacer un par de grupos más. Va, allá vamos. Carolina, Abigail, Carla y Mario. Carla, no sé si Carla ya está por aquí. Mario. 
Teacher, yo todavía voy bajando aquí los chorros. Uy, qué triste, Mario, ahí a tráfico. Sí. Qué feo. Vaya, vamos a ver. Ah, pues acá en el grupo 4 vamos a mover a alguien. Pero sí he ido escuchando, teacher, aquí he ido pendiente. Ajá, pues sí, pero no lo puedo poner a leer porque va manejando. Sí. Vaya, Van a oír el porrazo nada más. Sí, no, Dios guarde. No, 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 no. Vaya, David, Joana, Joana está en reunión, no, está trabajando, me dijo Joana. No, teacher, no. No, ah, vaya. Jonathan sigue trabajando, ¿verdad? Adriana, vaya, Luz Angélica ya está acá. Edwin. Edwin sigue trabajando, ya no. Quizás sí, ¿verdad? Lo vamos a mandar a otro grupo de oyente. Vaya, démosle entonces. Remember, uh, think about a problem that you have in your machine, like the one we were talking about yesterday. Y Mario, hágame un favor, cuando pueda, se pone el nombre completo, oye. De acuerdo, teacher. Sí, no se preocupe, es que hoy me metí del otro teléfono, por eso es que ya no... Ah, por eso lo dejo cortito. Sí, sí, sí. Va, ok. Ya ahorita lo cambio, teacher. Ok. Vaya, eh, let's go. Remember, you make a conversation. Uh, first, identify a problem that you have in your company. And then, in the conversation, you can ask your partners and say what you have done and what things you still haven't done yet. Okay? Acha, vamos. Hey, excellent, Mario. Thank you. Join the groups. Let's see, Carla, Lorena, Edwin. Que me eh, nos ponemos al corriente que esta computadora me está fallando un poco. Voy a minute, please. Okay. Teacher, eh, vamos a Ahí. hacer una conversación tal cual la de arriba, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. First, remember eh, to identify a problem in the in a machine in your workplace, right? Okay. And next, you can say what things you have already done and what things you haven't done yet. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. ¿Qué pasó? Estoy en clase. ¿Anda conmigo? No. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, Carolina. Okay. Ok, comenzamos. Ok. El ejemplo es el de la página 33. Uh -huh. eh, sí, página, okay. sí. 30, creo que 31. Algo así, como la conversación de esa página. Ajá, uh -huh, exacto. Ok. Ok, Carolina. ¿Algún problema que tenga en su trabajo para poder inspirarnos? <risa> Qué bueno. Mm. Vale. 
sería, digamos, el más común que sucede a veces. Um, que algún cliente se equivocó al comprar un producto, que si lo pueden cambiar. Ok. Okay. Maybe uh, let's start. Carolina, what's wrong with the, the product? Me dijo, ah, what's wrong with the product? With the product? Okay. Eh, sería what's wrong with the customer's product? Así iniciaríamos. Okay. What's wrong? What's wrong with the customer's product? Okay. Uh, okay, La pre yo preguntaría, okay, uh, Carolina, what's wrong with the customer product? Um, ¿Usted me podría contestar? No sé, me dijo que el cliente se había equivocado, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, the customer made a mistake with selecting the product. The product, okay. The customer made a mistake. Sería la, así sería made. Y che, Mauricio dormido está, no va manejando. ¿Verdad? Porque sí. no contesta, no dice ni pillo, ¿verdad? No, aquí nosotros quemándonos el cerebro y él no nos ayuda. Despiértelo, una trompetita. Mauricio, don't sleep. Ya lo descubrieron. No, no les crea. Ya lo descubrieron las chicas aquí. No, Tincher, esta no es. Ay, Just perdón. Teacher. Yo las chicas. No es así teacher. como Just que es un teacher. No, teacher. Pobre Noé. No, Mauricio, qué barbaridad lo que nos hace hacer. How are you doing? Teacher, aquí vamos aterrizando. Ok. Es que, teacher, honestamente, me siento súper cansada. En sí, serio. Sí, es, sí, por eso es que les decía yo, es un martes con olor a viernes. Sí, es que como ya vienen sí. vacaciones, la gente se está desesperando. No, hombre, uno se siente más cansadito cada vez que llegan las vacaciones. <risa> Lo peor es que a nosotros nos han cambiado la segunda planta y a cada momento nos buscan, nos toca subir, bajar y eso. Ya llevo dos días así, eso me está pasando. Ah, futuro. ya se va a acostumbrar. Es mentira, sí. picha, no me después, ya, después ya no siente uno, sube corriendo hasta la cuarta planta y ya no. Sí, pues pero... yo, to yo toco en la cuarta planta, doy en la tercera y en la cuarta. Bueno, decimos cuarta porque hay un, hay un basement, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces igual nos toca que subir primero a la, a la última planta, después bajar a la otra, después bajar a almorzar y después volver a subir hasta la de más arriba y después volver a bajar. Entonces, así andamos. Pero le digo, se acostumbra uno... Las primeras dos semanas me morí, me morí horrible, pero ya, ya, ya no, ya corro, 
Ah, pues algún día seré así. Sí, no, you will get used to. No, imagine running with a mask. Sí, Ajá. como que, ¿qué? Y con mascarilla. Ay, sí. That's very complicated. But no, you get used to it. At the end, in a couple of days, you will feel that it's normal. Yes, it's it's like um, going yes, it's like going to the gym <laughs> <laughs> at the beginning you suffer but later on you get used to it okay okay Luis Mauricio vi que está este manejando este pero no dormido está hoy Luis Luis. Es mentira, teacher, voy manejando. Mm. Hoy no hemos visto, sí, ¿verdad? Me quedé casi la teacher, le dije. <risa> Ay, no, y Mauricio, sí, como es que qué barbaridad. No, teacher, ¿para qué? Uh -huh. No, teacher, si iba manejando, ya nos mostró. No le voy a poner cero por. por... Ya les mando foto de sí, quién anda manejando. cero por ahí. <ríe> pues shit. Vamos okay. a ver. Well, I'm going to leave you to finish. Entonces, ¿qué es eso? Have you changed the ink? Have you changed? Change. change. Have you changed? Have you changed? Have you changed the ink? Changed. Have you changed the ink? Ink. Mm -hmm. um, my answer. Uh, no. Yes. Uh, yes, I have. <laughs> no, I have. No, I haven't. No, Have I you haven't. changed the ink? Okay. No, I haven't. I, 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 I haven't changed the ink yet. No, I haven't changed the ink yet. Aquí eh, puedo decir no problem o que se lo voy a cambiar. Mm, pero ajá, ya la cambió, no la ha cambiado. No. No, no la ha cambiado. No le he cambiado. No sé cómo se cambia. Ah, ok. <risa> <risa> Ay, qué triste. <risa> Have you changed the ink yet? Okay, no problem. The technician is coming to help you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the technician is going to help you. Okay. If no, that would be so sad. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because you don't know how to change it. No, no, I don't know. Entonces puede decir, okay, um, no problem, I change. No, no problem, I changed it. I would, pero y me están usando el, el present perfect. Yes. No me ha sonado el present perfect. Chequen que ocupan el present perfect, ¿verdad? Have you changed the ink? No, I haven't changed it yet. M mire, teacher, pero no quiero ver cómo puedo hacer aquí. Es cortita, teacher, la que tenemos. Pero It's no okay. Es esta, teacher. Hello, Claudia. What's wrong with the print? Hello, Marina. I can print in color. I have checked ED. ED. 
I have checked the ink. Espérenme. No. Check. Solo agregue el, el, la, la el K, N. ED. Ajá. Pero ahí le falta la K. Seca. No, Seca. así como estaba. Así como estaba, solo le iba a agregar ED. I have checked the ink in the printer. The ink in the printer. Sí, the ink. I have checked the ink in the printer. Mm -hmm. I have checked the ink in the printer. ¿Qué más? I can only print. Pero esa sería la misma oración. I can only print, print in black, in black, in black and white. ¿por qué? Porque Claudia llega, este, Verónica, no, ¿quién es la V? Yo, Vanessa. Ah, Vanessa. Vaya, Vanessa llega preguntando, hello Claudia, what's wrong with the printer? Y, y, y Claudia dice, hello Marina, I can't print in color. Entonces aquí no le diga I have, sino que pregúntele. Have you? Uh, you? Uh, Ajá, porque esa es pregunta. Have you? Para que ella le diga, no, I haven't. Have you checked? Have you, have you, have you checked the ink in the printer? Ajá, y el question mark, Katy, bien. No, we haven't. Ajá, entonces aquí antes de decirle I can't, no, I haven't. O oh, sí. No, I haven't, but I can only print black and white. Ya. No, I haven't, but I can only print black and white. But I can only print black and white. I can only. But uh, uh, I can. I can. The can. The poder. I can only print black and white. Hmm. No. Ajá, uh -huh, I can only black and white. White aquí W H I W H I W H H I Eh, espérame, teacher. Sí. W H I I Sí, porque ese es A. I T-E. Mm -hmm. T-E. Sí. Ah, yes. Perdón. Así. Sí. T-E. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Uh -huh. Black and white. Black and white. I can only print black and white. Entonces, have you changed the ink? Está bien, teacher. Uh -huh. have, you have you changed the ink? No, I haven't changed the ink. No, I haven't changed the ink. I don't know how. I, I don't know. know. <laughs> no sé. I don't. No. I don't know how. No sé cómo. I don't know how to change it. No, I don't know. No, estaba bien escrito. Estaba no. bien, no. Sí. I don't know how to change it. I don't know how to change it. Ay, no sé cómo se escribe. How, 
H O W how to change. No, teacher, aquí me quedé. No, vaya, I don't know. Ahí en el do es no K N O W. Ajá. K K N O W. Ajá. O I don't w. know how to change. How H H O W. Ajá. How Así. to change it? Sí. I don't know how to how. change it. How? Sí. To. How to change it? I don't know how to change. Oh, sí. To change it. I don't know how to change it. Nice. Okay. Eh, aquí sería, puede ser, ok, to no change. problem. Quítele, quítele la, 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 la de a change. I don't know how to change it. Change. I don't know how to change it. Mm -hmm. Ahí está. Uy, sí, muy bien, muy bien. Vaya, me la llevo ya porque ya es hora. Let's go. Ay, sí, eso. One minute. Okay. Basha, I'm going to call attendance. Mm, Adriana, Marcela. Adriana. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Carolina. Present teacher. Eh, Claudia. Present. Diego. Present. Edwin. Present. Elmer Alexis. Grace Mitchell. Present teacher. Jonathan. Present teacher. Karen Janet. No está Karen, ¿verdad? Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Kevin René. Kevin René. Present. Luis Edgardo. Luis Mauricio. Noé Ortiz. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Mario Ángel. Present teacher. Luz Angélica. Present teacher. Joana. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa. Present teacher. David. Present, present, present. Eso. Vaya, hoy se queda conmigo Carla Lorena. Carla Please Lorena. present. You didn't say my name. ¿Quién? Ana. Ana Alicia. Aguanta que no dice. ¿Cuántas veces dije Ana? A ver, a ver. Hasta en eco lo dijo. <ríe> ¿Verdad? Ana, 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 Ana. Sí, por eso David dice present, 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 present. <ríe> sí, Ana, sí le dije Ana. Adriana, Ana. Ana, habíamos regresado ah, del grupo, teacher. Será. Sí, oh. ella estaba conmigo en el grupo. O dijo, ese era el eco, porque dije, Adriana, Ana, está el eco, eco. Grace eco. estaba conmigo. Ah, no, pero Grace sí logró regresar a tiempo. Vaya, ya le puse a Ana, que sí estaba. Vaya, let's see. Nos vemos mañana. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. good night.
Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. A dormir mucho. Y Carla. Hi, teacher. Hi, Carla. Todavía está trabajando Carla. No, ya llegué a mi casa. Eso. Muy bien, muy bien. Ok, Carla, do you have any questions? Mm, no. No questions? No. About today's class? No. No. Vaya, ya about the platform. Es de que es tan fácil es los temas, ¿verdad? Van, vamos más o menos fácil. In the platform, ¿cómo va, Carla? Good. ¿Cómo va en la plataforma? Vamos a ver. En la, en la plataforma. Sí. Bien. Hoy al día. Eso. Hasta el día de ayer. Ah, va. Me <risa> llega, me llega, me llega. Sí. Solo le falta lo de ahora entonces. Sí. La voy haciendo mejor al final de la clase porque... Se entiende mejor, tiene sí. fresco uno. Uh, dice. sí, definitivamente, <risa> definitivamente. Sí. Así se acuerda bien cabal de, de todo, ¿verdad? Lo que se va viendo sí. y no, no tiene problema. Sí, sí, así es. Sí, mejor, porque a veces ya el día siguiente hace como que, uy, ¿cómo es que era? <risa> ¿Verdad? Ajá, con, sí. con tanta cosa que se anda en la cabeza. Sí, ah, mire qué bonito. Sí. Está bien, está bien. Ahí está. Estamos al, al 100 con el midterm exam. Está bien. Sí, ahí ya si quiere ir empezando a hacer el final también, ya le da para empezarlo ahí. Sí, más. también ya lo voy a ir empezando a hacer porque sí. después a veces nos toca bien empezar en el trabajo y no sí. tenemos tiempo. Sí. No, y el asunto es que los viernes, el viernes ya anda con todo el acumulado de, de la semana, que el cansancio ya cae pesadito, y tener que terminar todavía la tarea a esa altura es así como que, verdad, ya se vuelve, se vuelve más pesadito. Pero eh, mejor así, de a poquito en poquito, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. ya. Ya la vi que va bien cabalito, va. Sí, y ya del, del examen final, como ya van prácticamente temas de la unidad anterior, de la 1, la 2, ya puede ir haciendo ejercicio de, de esta unidad de acá, ¿verdad? Entonces ya le puede, si ve algo que, de lo que ya vio los temas, eso se le puede hacer así como un poquito más fácil de recordar ahorita, ¿verdad? En el momento. Sí, es cierto, ya podemos llegar como a la mitad, ¿verdad? Sí, yo creo que... que yo es... no sé, a veces me pregunto por qué en esos exámenes, uh -huh. a veces uno tiene que completar todo, a veces solo una frase, o sea, como que quiera adivinando qué es lo que sí. se pone. Sí, sí, lo bueno... Es una, una ventaja, ¿verdad? Lo bueno es que pueden hacerlo más de, una, más de una vez. Porque si lo pudieran hacer solo una vez, estaría triste. Porque así, ups, ¿y sí. qué era lo que querían aquí? Bueno, pues no le di, ya estuvo. ¿verdad? Y quedaba con cero. Ajá, exacto. Entonces, esa es la, la ventaja que pueden hacerlo más de una vez, entonces eso le da el chance de que si no lo logran en una, en una oportunidad, de probar entonces si no es eso, ¿qué? Entonces probemos por este lado sí. y si no, pues esto otro. Entonces si eso le, le, da, le da chance de, de, de corregir o de arreglar alguna, alguna cuestión, ¿verdad? Sí, eso sí. Sí, bueno, 
Sí, porque lo triste. Hay que estar estas adivinando que si se pone completo, <risa> si se pone toda la palabrita. O si es por el punto, o si es por la apóstrofe. Sí, <risa> sí. Pero, por el, pero lo bueno es que como a esta altura ya ustedes ya tienen más experiencia. Entonces ya se saben todo eso que, ups, no funcionó así. Entonces le voy a poner esto. Ajá, o sea, que así esto, esto sí. no lo quiere. Le voy Vamos a, a probar este uh -huh, Exacto. Eso le da, le da otras oportunidades de, de poner en práctica lo que saben. <risa> ¿Verdad? Sí, eso sí. Así es que sí. Vaya, pues Carlita la dejo entonces para que termine la tarea de hoy y para que descanse un un ratito, ¿verdad? See you tomorrow, Ten. See you tomorrow. Y a descansar un rato. Un rato. Gracias. Porque, porque pasa volando. El ratito pasa sí. volando. ¿verdad? Sí, es cierto. Sí. Más Gracias. <ríe> Vaya, pues Carlita, nos vemos entonces. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.